In this video, we'll go over the sales order detail page and how you can save time and manage an entire sales order without leaving the page. Here you'll see the order number and customer name. You can update the order's status. These statuses can be customized from the settings page. We've also made the payment status prominent, so you can know at a glance if an invoice has been paid. You can also add a tag to help you track the order. Over here, you have the order details, due dates, and payment details. You can also view the customer details. And you can change message recipients, due dates, customer PO, brand profile, created by, and the customer portal login ID. You can also look at the sales order approval status, view or edit a request, send a reminder, or cancel the request. You can also check out your profit margin, which you can hide if you'll be showing your customers this screen. Down here, you'll see the order's jobs. If you click on the job title, you'll see all of the job's details. You can create new tasks, then update task statuses, due dates, and assignees. You can also upload your mockups, request artwork approvals, and see the approval status. You also have the option to approve artwork from here for in-person customers. And you can upload your production files and add production notes and internal comments. You can edit the job title or change its status. Right under the job name, you'll see several details. You'll see whether you have inventory committed to the job, its services, and you can also upload your mockups and request an artwork approval here. And you can also upload production files here. Here you'll see the artwork approval status and approval history. Within the job, you'll see its tasks. You can change, add, clone, and remove tasks, as well as change a task's name, due dates, status, and assignees, and add or edit a note. And below the tasks, you'll see the products assigned to the job, your stock on hand and incoming, and pricing. Next, let's look at comments. The commenting system is designed for internal communication so your team knows what's going on in a particular order. You can capture any ongoing updates for this order. We've also made customer communication equally as easy. Click Message Customer on top, and you'll see the message history, including system-generated messages. You can also send an email or SMS your customer from this window. The History tab shows a history of changes in the sales order. Now let's look at the right sidebar. On top, you have your QuickBooks Sync status. You can choose to trigger the sync, refresh it, or disable the sync. Then you have your order and artwork approval request statuses. Then you have Shipments. You can update the shipment status. You can create a label using rates directly from UPS or FedEx and print the label. Or add an existing label. You can even track the shipment directly in your print. You can also assign someone to packing and download the packing slip and shipment labels. Next, you have the invoice link to this sales order. Below that, you'll see the purchase orders link to this sales order. If there isn't any, you can link an existing purchase order or go to quick actions and create a new purchase order. Next, you have a section to add production notes or notes for your customer, and then you have a record of all payments made. Anytime a customer pays through the customer portal, that payment is logged here. If they pay using another method, you can also manually log those payments. If you use a square terminal, this is where you can initiate a payment in the terminal, and you can upload any internal files here. On top, we have the Quick Actions button. Here you'll find options to edit the order, void it, clone it, mark it as a rush order, send the order details, request a payment, send an approval or approval reminder, convert the sales order into a quote, create a purchase order, sync the sales order to QuickBooks Online, or disable the QuickBooks Sync. And finally, you can download all PDFs for printing from the download button. There you have it. You can manage an entire workflow for an order from a single screen. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base at support at yoprint.com or email our support team at support at yoprint.com.